Yesterday I received this little guy, a little USB stick, but it's very particular. It has a UHF transmitter and it's able to do C4FM, DMR and D-Star. This is a dongle that I will use to create a point-to-point -point through IP to get to my repeater. That means I have two of these guys that I will plug one on one computer, one on the other, and I will use a simplex frequency to get through the network, through the reflector, and to get back to my repeater on my repeater frequency and get transmitted. What I have here is three portable. FT1DR from Yezu, C4FM radio. TYT DMR radio. And an ICOM ID31A D Star radio. My first test will be for this video with the C4FM radio. Important to know that I'm using for one of the stick, one of my PC, I'm using my cell phone as a Wi-Fi hotspot because you cannot run the two stick on the same network with the same call sign. It's giving me bugs. Uh, when you disconnect one, it connects the other and vice versa. So what I did is I used my cell phone as a Wi-Fi hotspot to uh, correct the problem. And it's working pretty well. And the good thing uh, about this product is that you don't need to do any of those port forwarding. You just go to your firewall of your PC and let the accept to uh, the, the program so it can go through the internet. But you don't have to do any port forwarding in your firewall. So that's pretty easy to set up. So if you want to carry it around, uh, it's worked pretty well. I also try it on Raspberry Pi and it's working pretty well too. There's an image that you can download on Electron uh, website and you can flash it up. It's in German but you can go in the Raspi config and change it to English or French and it's working pretty well. Uh, I could not use it for the demonstration because I need to plug it to a HDMI uh, monitor and it's quite complicated in the shack so I just use two PC but just notice that this can act as a um, Wi-Fi hotspot pretty easily so for the demonstration today I will use my PC for that so but that's important to know a little while ago I did a video uh, about my repeater being connected to the uh, HRI 200 in C4FM and it's working but it does not ca carry the call sign uh, through the network that means when a station at a distance transmits through the net wirex network you don't see the call signs coming through you just see the the nod as, as you uh, where it's coming from but not the call sign of the uh, the transmitter so uh, what with this uh, product it's actually coming in with the call sign and everything it's working pretty well and it's actually like being local to your repeater so you can uh, you can use it as an hotspot to get to your wirex network so that's pretty cool and uh, it's not too expensive too and it's doing all the mods so you can carry it around on a raspberry pi and uh, you can uh, put it in your car, carry your HD and low power and that's it. So let's do some few tests and um, you will see how well it works. Pretty amazing. Like I said, I have two computers set up. So uh, this is my first computer. As you can see, it's configured in uh, 446 275 in Semplex and it is configured in C4FM and I'm connected to the uh, reflector uh, FCS001 on port 50 okay that's my first computer and if you go down here you will see that I have the little stick with the antenna here with the little uh, UHF transceiver on the other 
computer, what I have is a stick as well. This computer is connected to my cell phone. And as you can see, I'm connected to FCS001 on port 50, but using the frequency of my repeater 448.775 minus. So let's start with, hold on a second, let's start with the test. So I have my portable set up, hold on, I'll just play, okay. So I have my portable set up at 446275, like the first computer. And I got my FT991 set up at 448775. So let's start with this one, and I will transmit. Victor Alpha 2, Victor Papa Alpha Victor, two. you will hear Papa some Victor. echo. I'm a little far away, but as you can see, I'm getting out on the 448775. And there I have the first transmitter. The first transmitter. Red. It's transmitting. Red. It's transmitting. At the repeater's frequency. At the repeater's frequency. And there you have the receiving on the other computer. Receiving on the other computer. And on the FT911. And on the FT911. Now, what I'm going to do, now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the reverse. So, I'm still on this. Oops, hold on. 446-275. 448-275. And now I will transmit on the FT911. Victor Alpha 2, Papa Victor testing. You see here that I'm, this one is transmitting. Receiving on the simplex frequency. And you can see the other one receiving. On the repeater frequency. Victor Alpha 2, Papa Victor. Something amazing is when you put your radio in a tow detect mode. It will detect if you're transmitting in DM or if you're transmitting in VM, like the local repeater. So check that out. So, now I'm 446275 and you will see the call sign Victor Alpha 2 Papa Victor hold on Victor Alpha 2 Papa Victor you can see the repeater call sign and the uh, and my personal call sign that is input into my uh, FT911 Once again, once again, if I use my little portable, hold on, okay, too much thing going on. If I use my, my little portable on a simplex frequency, you can see that I will be transmitted into the YRX network going through the reflector via the two sticks. Check that out. Victor Alpha 2, Papa Victor, Victor Alpha 2, Papa Victor testing, and Victor Alpha 2, Papa Victor. What we have is the reflector, and you can see on the reflector that I have two dongles at VA2PV. And the two dongles are set at two different frequency. 
I don't know about you, but this is a pretty cool device. This makes it the perfect companion for traveling and getting you to connect to your WireX network remotely without any compromise and you're able to chat with your friend anytime without having to do port forwarding and things like that. You can use it in hotels while traveling even in your car if you want. So that's pretty cool and hope you enjoyed this video. There will be more coming about D-Star and DMR.